And everybody is set for this matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the San Francisco 49ers here at Candlestick Park. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. And you would think this is going to be about the defenses today, Phil. Well, when I hear the words rough and I hear tough, I think of Jim Nance. <laughs> That's yes, right. Yes, man, he's tough. <laughs> and it's what this game is going to be today. It's going to be rough, and it's going to be tough. And I'll tell you, even though I was a quarterback, I love these type of games. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. They stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. down as they head to the line. Gore. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Well, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Gore's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Makes the catch in open space. And he's brought down right at the 42. Sometimes they tell the receiver just to go long, run a fly route, run a nine route, because that means straight ahead or a streak. Show the speed that you have and get it done. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle. Beats his rear end up pretty good. It makes a tackle on the running back. Spins away from the tackle. When a coach can have a run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. Frank Gore gets it here. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was. Gets it there, and he moves those chains. Play number six coming up on this drive. To Vernon Davis. Quinton Michael picks off that pass. All right, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. First down, will go Brown. They break through, tackle him behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Newton in shotgun formation. Reaches in, knocks it away. Good job by the cornerback, meet the wide receiver. He is all over him, and it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. That's a terrible job by the defense at the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. Here's the first snap after the big play. Looking for Steve Smith. Makes the catch deep down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Panthers. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Driving extra point is good. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air.
able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Heaving it down the field. A takeaway. That brings the play to an end. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. And now Cam Newton with the deep throw. Almost intercepted. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Offense lines up here. Second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Go, go, shotgun here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The offensive coordinators just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. And here we have second down. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in his area, read the quarterback, and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. That's a timeout by the defense. Play number six coming up on this drive. He sends the halfback in motion. Throws to the right. Zeroed in on that one. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. You just can't sit back there and play conservative defense in the NFL. The quarterbacks and receivers are too good. Third and over 10 yards, you play safe and you give up the first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Newton's dropping back to throw once again. Forgot to catch the football. in the backfield challenging the defenders to the right side always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone nice throw by the quarterback and he gets the completion first down here after the completion middle tackles made well that last play almost got him in here and when you look at this what do they do well you just want to punch it in there's a lot of a lot of different scenarios you could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. What a drive this has been. That wraps up the first quarter here in San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses.
play after play after play here on this drive. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense credit here, Jim Nance. Good job on the option play. They just attacked the offense. The quarterback kept the football, but there's nowhere to run, and he lost yards. Third and goal from the three. Newton hooks up with Greg Olson. Good job by the defense that time. Stopping him inches short of the goal line. Big play. or never four and goal touchdown the head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation on fourth and goal he goes for it nice play call that time the panthers with an extra point try on the way no it's not it's a fake they will not find a way into the end zone so they'll only get six points out of the trip Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Michael James is in the backfield. Running back gets it on the handoff. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. The all-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Keekley, who makes the tackle. Colin Kaepernick is dangerous throwing the football, but he's also dangerous running the football, too. Has a keen idea when to scramble, and when he does, he can make it happen. First and 10, well, Michael James, left side. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. And he's brought to the ground. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Flex row, flex row. Colin Kaepernick flex under row. center. Flex first and 10. Michael James gets the carry. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Staying on the ground, and they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Two-minute warning. Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first, looking to the right side and throwing. And that last play made by Quentin Michael. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Ohio, 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 The Michael James is in the backfield. Trying to make something happen for one. Gore is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. On second and nine, he's looking to the right here on this throw for about five. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. To the ground here. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury. And, uh, it's just it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. Come on, come 
This has been a long drive so far. They deck him in the backfield. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Mounting a serious drive. Second and goal from the nine. The pass complete. Well, sometimes you just got to see the tough team is going to win. You got the ball on offense, you're down on the goal line, you need to score here, and you get it in. Third and goal at the two. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score. They did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. The point after is good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down here. Throws the pass. Newton connects with Steve Smith. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. The Panthers signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. They've got a first down now after that catch. Cam Newton unleashes the long pass, and they can't connect. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Second down here. Here's the throw. Cam Newton throws it. That ball has been picked off. What a kill the job by the Warriors. Nobody's open. Tries to force the pass. And look, what's it turn into? An interception. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. The 49ers have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. Colin Kaepernick under center. Now first and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. So that's going to do it for the first half. Panthers are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Panthers lead by six. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I had a moment to speak with Patrick Willis at halftime. His team is trailing up to this point, but he thinks his defense can turn this thing around, guys. He said we just need to create opportunities for our offense, whether that's turnovers or good field position. If we do that, we can come back. That's all for now, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Williams is in the backfield. First and ten. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. This will be second down. Out of the shotgun. Throws to the right. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance. His receiver is not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass, but he gets hit. He just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete.
third and 11. Looking across the middle, easy catch there. No one near him. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. And he'll go to the left. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Walked up the football. The offense was able to recover the ball. Nice job by the offense at time, even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. Williams is in the backfield. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Lines up here. Newton's back in shotgun formation. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Nice job by the coach that time going forward on fourth down. His team is up here in the second half. He wants to keep momentum on his side. That's why he goes for it, and they get it. First and ten. Breaks away, breaks free, has some space to work with. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a 49ers official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Left side. A foot race to the end zone. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but still they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Hunter. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Extra tight end on the field for this one. First and ten. The handoff. Running behind the tackle. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. bring in an extra tight end for this play. Has the first down and a whole lot more. Unstoppable. The 30, the 20, the 10. Inside and he's caught for the touchdown. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football. A long running play for a touchdown. 
And how about that one? It had it all in its speed. Good moves, good blocks. Exciting touchdown. And the point after is good. Niners setting up for the kickoff. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. You know, when that football was coming towards him in the air, he knew if he caught it, he was going to take a big hit. Well, you know what? Good thing he caught it, because if he'd have dropped it, he still was going to take a big hit. Nice catch by the receiver. Second and three. That's Newton over to Olsen for the catch. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. First and ten. Searching for space to the right, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. On second and three, the defense gets a sack. I don't know who to blame here. Was it a great play by the safety getting the sack on the quarterback? Or the quarterback just not paying attention, seeing him coming, and if you see him, you've got to change the play or get rid of the football a lot quicker. Halfback sent in motion. Newton standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. It's intercepted! Has some space to work with. Pushes aside one tackler. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Gore's lined up in a single back formation. And the give to Frank Gore. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. 15 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The 49ers will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. They bring in the extra tight end. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. And he was wide open. Scores the touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback. Going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. Looking to the right side and throwing. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. Lined up now in kickoff formation. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The 
they come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Ball comes out. They pounce on him there. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it, he didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. Second and one. Middle. He stacked up at that point. That's a good job by the defense, just playing the situation. Second and short, they know they have a conservative coach on the other side. They played for the run, and they stopped it short of the first down. Third and about a half a yard running away from the pressure. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. Come on now. Time is running out. The defense knows it's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. I just don't think that's a good job by the defense. It's fourth and short. You kind of know what the offense is going to do. They were not ready, and they give up the first down. to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. First down, throwing again. Ball is caught, and he is tackled at the 44. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. Going to lose yards here. Williams is in the backfield, looking for an open receiver on the right. They pick up the first down with that reception. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. They tackle him for a loss. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. After running it, it's second down. Throws to the right. Should have had it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. The Panthers have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. Here we are in the fourth quarter. It's a close game, and you're on the defensive side, and it's third and over 10 yards, and what do you do? You play safe, and you give up the pass for the first down. First and 10, Williams going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Second and 11. Ball's picked off. Most NFL linebackers are really lined up. Good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defense about. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Frank 
Gore is in the backfield. yards this time the Panthers are gonna burn the first of their three timeouts right here this play set up by the long gainer and they go back to the ground on his way the 20 the 10 touchdown how about the blocking up front lets the running back get in the secondary and he is so quick and elusive he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. There's a flag out. Extra point was good. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Intercepted! Spins away from contact. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. down on the way. Gore drives ahead. They bring him to the turf. It's about managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. you got to run it. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter. you still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. Escaping the pressure, throwing now to his left. On target. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays. But we pumped to an end. And what a game it was.